Fire in the pit barrel hole, let's cook some brats. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome to my backyard. Let's talk about brats. I got two different kinds of brats here and we're gonna smoke roast them. You could, uh, there's several different ways you can cook brats. Uh, one way is to braise them in beer. These are just the regular brats right here, but I have some beer brats as well. I'm just gonna lay them out on my uh, grill rack right here for my smoker, my pit barrel cooker. Those are the regular brats, and these are the beer brats right here. These actually have beer in them. I'm gonna lay them out here. A little bit of space between them so the smoke can get up between them. But anyway, like I was saying, uh, there's lots of ways to cook brats, but one of the best ways is to smoke roast them, which is what we're gonna do with these. We're gonna put them on the pit barrel cooker. I've got some mesquite wood for smoke, and we're gonna get them on there and smoke roast them for about an hour and a half to two hours. I'm just gonna take some Sang stir fry oil. You know all about that. And I'm just gonna paint them with that Sang stir fry oil, and that'll give them a beautiful uh, glossy sheen as they're cooking. I'll just take my brush and I'll hit them both sides with that Sang stir fry oil like that. And they're gonna get a beautiful mahogany color and they're gonna be, the skin is gonna be, you know, it's gonna snap when you bite into it. And I'm gonna dress these brats up three different ways. Once I get them cooked, I'm gonna flip them over and paint the other side with the Sang stir fry oil. We're gonna get these on the grill and I'll show you what that looks like. So stay tuned. My brats are on the pit barrel cooker. I left some space here because I'm gonna warm up some condiments to go on those brats. I'll show you that in a minute. Meanwhile, I got a very special beer for you today, but I'm gonna let these brats cook a little while before we start drinking. So uh, stay tuned and we'll, we'll get to this all, we'll get to all that, so stay tuned. My smoke roasted brats are parking right along and I'm just gonna make some uh, condiments to go on them. I got some sauerkraut here. And I've got, this is my favorite stuff. From when I was a kid, I used to get this on the push carts in New York. I could get a hot dog for a quarter and a soda for a quarter. So if I had 50 cents, I'd be a happy man. This is onions in a kind of a tomato sauce that they sell on the push carts in New York. They still have this stuff. This is Sabret onions and sauce, and I love this stuff. It reminds me of my childhood. And I got some Slossa, which doesn't get warmed up. It gets served cold. But Slossa, you used to be able to get it in a grocery store. Now you have to go to Home Depot to get it. Not Home Depot, but Lowe's. Anyway, I got some Dijon mustard, some yellow mustard, and some sriracha mustard that we're gonna put on the Slossa dog. We're gonna put these on the grill and let them get a little bit warm. I'll come back and dress up these dogs and drink a beer and that'll be the end of my video, so stay tuned. So I got my pit barrel mug out here and frosted it up and I purposely didn't frost my Root Boy mug so you could see what a beautiful thing it is see the beautiful design on there this is the one Booger gave me and it's got my name on the other side but you can't see it when it's frosted so instead of frosting this one up I frosted my pit barrel mug and uh, I got a beer from my subscriber Steve Mitchell who's a great guy he lives in uh, Michigan and he sent me a bunch of beers from Michigan and this is one of them this is Horny Monk from the Patowski Brewing Company, Belgian style ale. Wait, I'll read to you what it says on there. A deep reddish, malty, and complex Belgian style ale, six different types of malts and barley, Belgian candy syrup, Belgian yeast combined to produce a very smooth, complex, slightly sweet ale. That sounded good to me, horny monk. Let's pour some of that out into the frosty pit barrel mug. And oh man, I can tell right now it's real, it's kind of creamy. Look at that, oh yeah, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful red ale. Oh boy. It's got a frothy head on it too, Roll. You're gonna love that. Look at that, let's get that in the frame where you can see it. Isn't that pretty? Horny Monk from the Patowski Brewing Company. Brewed with pure Michigan spring water, artesian spring water, can you imagine? Michigan artesian spring water. I know some guys who lived in Michigan and they said they got the cleanest water going up there. Anyway, 
Let's take a sniff of that Patowski Horny Monk, Belgian style ale. I'll bet it's good. What's the ABV on that? ABV 8.9. That's kind of high, but we're going to take one for the team. You ready? Let's take a sniff. Here's to you, Steve. Ah, that smells excellent. It smells kind of sweet and malty. I'll bet it's good. Let's take a taste of it. Roll. Let's quaff the froth off it, baby. Wow. Wow. I don't have words for how good that is. That's awesome. Horny monk. We got to pour the rest of that out. It's a creamy Belgian style ale. It's awesome. Thank you, Steve. You rock, Steve. Let me tell you what. He sent me a whole bunch of beers. We're going to be, uh, in the next few weeks, we're going to be celebrating Michigan beers. Look at the color of that stuff. It tastes excellent. Now, let me get some brats out here and dress them up for you. And that will be our video. So stay tuned. My smoke roasted brats are done. They're looking excellent. I'm going to get some of them off of there and, and uh, dress them up with some stuff here that I got going here. I got some bread. I got some nice Italian hoagie rolls. I'm going to take the first one. It's going to go on here with some... Let's see, let's get him on there. And uh, let's go with some sauerkraut. Well, first let's put some mustard. Let's put some Dijon mustard on him. There we go with the Dijon and some sauerkraut because I like sauerkraut there you go sauerkraut with the Dijon maybe a little bit more Dijon on top the next one will go with some of the my favorite uh, push cart style onions from uh, Sabret get them on there get that dog on there let me get some of those. I got some uh, regular yellow mustard for that. I hate it when that the mustard water comes out of there. Let's get some of that Sabret style onions and sauce on there. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. That's the stuff from my childhood right there. And some yellow mustard on that. Then on the last one, we're going to do a Angie and Dan surprise. We're going to put a, put a brat on there and get some sriracha mustard. You know they're looking at it now. They're, they're checking me out now. Sriracha mustard with some slossa. Slossa is a cross between uh, salsa and uh, slaw. So some sriracha mustard with some slossa. How's that look? Don't that look good? I got three different kinds of uh, brats right there. I need to get a little room here where I can uh, get a good picture of them all. There's three brats three different ways. Smoke roasted brats. And uh, which one do you think I'm going to take a taste of? This one, my favorite onions and sauce with yellow mustard. I got to take a bite of that, so stay tuned. Mmm. Oh, man. Oh. That's outstanding. That's beyond delicious. Those brats are cooked perfectly. About an hour and a half, two hours in the smoke. And uh, my favorite condiments, slossa, sabret onions, and sauerkraut. Sriracha mustard on the slossa, yellow mustard on the onions, and Dijon mustard on the sauerkraut. Can't be beat. Okay, so that's my video, babies. Oh, this ale from uh, Steve Mitchell is excellent. It's superb. Let me tell you what, that's delicious. Anyway, that's my video. Thank you for the beer, Steve. We'll be featuring uh, more of your beers in the weeks to come.
You're a very generous guy. And uh, what I want to say is if you like this crap, please subscribe. This little square down here. If you don't like it, go up here and see my boy Southern Junk Food or Southern Food something. I forgot the name of his channel, but he reviews uh, food that he gets around South Carolina, North Carolina. He goes to restaurants. He makes his own food too. But check him out. Southern Food Junkie. That's it. Southern Food Junkie. You'll see the I card up there. Come back next week. We may not cook anything good, but I'll tell you what. If I could eat every one of those brats, I would, but I'll probably only eat that one. But uh, these are awesome. Smoke roasted brats done up three ways. This beer is awesome. And uh, you're awesome. All of you are awesome. I love every one of you. Okay, so come back next week. We may not cook anything good, but we will drink a beer. Bye.